Hello, Internet. I also have this movie on VHS. It doesn't have the cover, but I don't know if y'all can read that, but see, it says The Last Crusade, Chapter 25. So what I learned, thanks to a commenter, which I think it was MV Raider, ah, mm, I can't remember their name at the moment, but I'll show the comment on screen, and then I did some research. Apparently, Temple of Doom is actually a prequel to um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then this is actually the sequel of Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is a perfect segue because this definitely does feel more like a... Uh, I don't want to say a traditional Indiana Jones movie, but just like a classic one. It definitely felt more in line with the first movie, which is a good thing and also a bad thing. Because, look, I'll just do the chart right now. It goes, I changed my mind. Temple of Doom is now my favorite. Then, um, Writers, and then this one. Now, this does not mean that this movie is bad. Just because it is so far last in the list, that doesn't mean it's bad. I actually really like this movie. Like I said last time, this was basically a new watching experience for me since there's a lot of stuff I just don't remember. But the real highlight of the film really comes in like the last act when they're in the desert and they're starting to get there. Uh, the rest of the movie is fun. It's like the beginning of the film is really good. The end of the film is really good, but the middle is just kind of a lot of... A lot of fluff, you know, they're at the castle, they get caught, they meet Hitler. It's like, they have the book, they lose the book, they have the book, and then they lose the book again, and then they gotta go. It's just, the middle just seems like a lot of fluff, you know, which I think that's what bogs it down. Because Raiders just felt like a whole, it kept the momentum each time, you know. Like I said, in that film, it felt like a good, you know, short film, which every new location they're at. This one didn't really, there was nothing real interesting at the castle or anything. Him meeting Hitler and getting Hitler's autograph was fun, but, you know, it didn't really need to be in there. Temple of Doom, I just, it, they said that they wanted to do something experimental with Temple of Doom, something new, which I definitely think paid off. And for this film, they said, let's just bring it back. You know, a lot of people didn't like Temple of Doom. They said it was too mixed. You know, at the time, people were saying that it was too, like, out there of a film. And then this film really was just like, let's go back to Indiana Jones's roots. And I think it did a good job at it. Huh. I think the next movie on our list takes more inspiration from Temple of Doom, which hinder is, hinders it, but we'll talk about that next time. This movie, I liked the relationship between the dad and Indy. It really felt like he was a stern dad who, most of the time, if a character doesn't like their dad, but their dad's actually cool, you like don't get why. You know, It's a thing where the character just doesn't like him. But in this film, you could see why Indy not doesn't like his dad, but is also like resent towards him i don't know the word it's like he loves him but he's also like come on dad i don't know how to describe it if the mic sounds weird i think it's because it may have unplugged or whatever but anyways so this movie like i said it's more traditional they go location location the looking for the holy grail was fun the little i like how they also had the scene at the end where it's like the bad guys get their comeuppets but it also felt like it built on the last one where indiana jones also had to make a choice one part I was kind of weirded at is when Elsa was like reaching for the grail and then she dropped and then Indiana Jones also dropped and he was trying to reach for it too. It's like, dude, you just saw her fall. I don't know. I can't really talk too much about this movie without just saying it's really good. Uh, just because I put it at the bottom of the list does not mean it's bad. I honestly think it is equal to Raiders of the Lost Ark, but because uh, the beginning is good and then the end is really good, but the middle just feels like fluff and I think that's what puts it right behind it. So next time, uh, we're going on to Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which is very hated, so, but you know, you know, people also hated the prequels, and I really liked the one episode of the prequels, you know, so, who knows, who knows, maybe, maybe I'll love Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, anyways, we'll talk about that next week, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, uh, and that is video over, nothing really. Which has to say. Oh, except one little thing. I learned the reason why this is chapter 25 is because when they were released on VHS tapes in the late 90s, um, there was a series going on. I think it was straight to DVD, straight to VHS movies called Young Indie. And those start from chapter 1 and then they go to chapter 22. And then the next three movies being chapter 23, 24, and 25 are Temple of Doom, Raiders, and Last Crusade, respectively. So, fun fact. They're all like... 30 minute long movies I may who knows should I watch those for the countdown next time we'll do that maybe long in the future I'll watch the young Indiana Jones films they're movie budget stuff but who knows and I'll add that to this countdown list whatever I'm not saying I'm doing that anytime soon video over